Today we're going to talk about counterconditioning, which is a process that we use to take a situation or event that a dog has a negative feeling about and make it more positive. Specifically, I want to talk about one of the most common mistakes that trainers often make when using counterconditioning procedures. As an example, we're going to use Tyson the Bulldog, who needs to have the skin folds on his face cleaned regularly. However, he has a history of becoming very aggressive when people try to do it. The error is simply one of timing. Here you can see I'm presenting the wipe that we use to clean his face and then right after presenting him with a treat. Wipe, treat, wipe, treat in pretty close succession. The idea being that we want the wipe, which the dog doesn't like, to be associated with the treat, which he does like. However, if we look closely at this timing, the wipe is being presented for about one second and then the treat for about one to two seconds, followed by the wipe again. So in actuality, rather than the treat being closely associated with the wipe, or even the wipe predicting the presence of a treat, what we actually have is the treat being associated with the absence of the wipe. The solution to this problem is actually very simple. All we need to do is simply put more time between each repetition. So I present the wipe immediately followed by a treat, and then I'm gonna wait 30 seconds to even up to two minutes before the next repetition. This space in between assures that the wipe is the only predictor of the treat. Wipe, treat, and then nothing. Wipe, treat, nothing. By doing it this way, the dog starts to learn when he sees the face wipe that he can anticipate a treat is coming next. This is what creates the positive association between the wipe and the treat that he loves so much.